Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice extreme of equation? From here, let's leave it as equation 1 and this as equation 2. And from equation 1, we have x plus y equals to 6. And uh, from here, let's make y the subject and uh, we take x to this side. So from here, we have y equals to 6 minus x then from equation 2 we have x times y to be equals to 36 and here we have x times here y has been 6 minus x so we now have x times 6 minus x will then be equals to 36 from here then we open this bracket with x and this becomes 6x minus x square equals to 36 and then we can rearrange to form an equation I will take everything on this side to this side so we have x square minus 6x plus 36 then equals to 0 the next step let's separate this 36 as 9 plus 27 and that will become x square minus 6x plus 9 plus 27 then equals to 0 and from here we can bring 27 to this side and this will become x square minus 6x plus 9 which can be written as 3 square then equals to minus 27 and then from here we can equally write this as x square minus 2 times 3 times x then plus 3 square then equals to minus 27 and this side follows when we have a square minus 2ab plus b square and uh, which can be written as a minus b then all square so then this side now can be written as x minus 3 square then equals to minus 27 and then uh, from here we can take the square root on both sides and then square we cancel square root here so we have x minus 3 equals to plus or minus root 27 i because square root of minus 1 is i then from here we can write this down as 9 times 3 and then that becomes x minus 3 equals to now we have plus or minus 3 root 3 i and then since we want to find x let's take minus 3 here become plus so we have x equals to 3 plus or minus root 3 i so we have two possible two possible values of x then from here we have x equals to 3 plus 3 root 3 i or we have x to be equal to 3 minus 3 root 3 i then we can get the corresponding values of a y from each of this and y equals to 6 minus x so if this is x1 and this is x2 here y1 will then be equals to 6 minus x1 then that's into bracket 3 plus 3 root 3 high and from here we open bracket so y1 will then be equals to 6 minus 3 then 6 minus 3 minus that's minus times plus minus minus 3 root 3 high then this become y1 will now be equals to 3 minus 3 root 3 high so we have x1 comma y1 to be the same thing as 3 plus 3 root 3 high then comma 
3 minus 3 root 3 i. Then on this side as well, we can find the value of y2. And then here from this relation, y2 will then be equal to 6 minus x2. And y2 will then be 6 minus into bracket 3 minus 3 root 3 i. And then we have y2 now equals to 6 minus 3. Then plus 3 root 3 i. This is the same thing as y2 equals to 3 plus 3 root 3 i. So the second set of solution which is x2 comma y2. Let's put it here x2 comma y2 then we equals to x2 that's 3 minus 3 root 3 hat then we have y2 that's 3 plus 3 root 3 hat so we have this set of solution here and uh, the value of x is the value of y here the value of y here is the value of x here then we can check for just you know one of the solution there from equation 1, what we have is x plus y equals to 6. Now let's check with this first one. x plus y, that will be 3 plus 3 root 3 high. Then plus we have the second one, that's 3 minus 3 root 3 high. Is this equals to 6 from here? Then when we look at this, we have plus 3 root 3i minus 3 root 3i. This cancel out. Then we have 3 plus 3 left here, which is 6. So 6 is equal to 6. And then this satisfies the given problem. And also from equation 2, we have x times y equals to 36. And then from there, when we use this you know, set of solution, we multiply. That will be 3 plus 3 root 3i. Then multiply by 3 minus 3 root 3 i. Will this be equal to 36 from here? And when we look at this, this follows difference of two squares. That this here, this is going to be 3 square minus 3 root 3 i all square. Will this be equal to 36 from here? Then 3 square here is 9 minus here we square 3, that's 3 square. Then we square root 3, root 3 square, then we square high, i square. This is equal to 36 from here. So this same thing as 9 minus 9 times 3 times i square there is minus 1. So we are multiplying this. First, then we subtract. Is this equal to 36 from here? Then we have here as 9 minus. Here we give us minus 27. 9 times 3, that's 27. Then times minus 1, that's minus 27. Is this equal to 36? And this is 9 plus 27. 9 plus 27 will then be equal to 36, which is equal to 36. Left hand side equals to the right hand side, and therefore, here we conclude and uh, this satisfies the given problem. Similarly, here we also satisfy, and uh, here is the end of the class. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos and put the notification bell on. Give your comment, share this video, and give a thumbs up. See you next class, then. Bye for now.